Hello, 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 hello. I am Nakia, welcome to my channel. We are here to talk about The One by John Mars. And honey, I got some things to say. So get yourself a drink, a snack, whatever. Let's talk about it. Okay, so yes, as I said, we are here to talk about The One by John Mars. I literally just finished this book like uh, a couple days ago, I think. And um, let me give you a little setup. This is supposed to be like, you know, it can be present day, it doesn't say it's in the future, but it's sci-fi-esque because there's supposed to be a gene that is discovered that will match you with the perfect person you're supposed to be with. And this is DNA. So if the test says this is the person you're supposed to be with, it is, that is it, it is the fact, it is the law. And this book follows five people, five couples, and what happens with their matches and the journeys they go through along the way. So I was reluctant to read this book at first because I was like, I don't wanna read about a bunch of couples. Eh, I don't like romance, so I was like, oh, I do not. And I don't wanna be reading a bunch of like sex and kissing, and all that. I just, uh, ugh. So, I was like, I ain't thinking about that book. But then I saw some booktubers talk about it that made it seem more interesting and like there was more suspense involved. And I heard like some of the little storylines, like a little bit about them. And I was like, well, hmm, I'm intrigued. So I looked at a sample, a preview, and I was like, hmm, we'll pick it up. I was like, hey, if there's too much romance or whatever, I don't even have to finish it. I, it's fine, whatever. So I started reading this book and I was hooked from the beginning. I'm so glad I picked this book up. I loved every minute of it from page one to page whatever. <sighs> this book, a lot of people say it's like a soap opera, it is. The five people in this book that get matched, they go through some interesting things. Because of course you think, okay, what if you get matched with somebody you think is ugly? Or what if you get matched with somebody that's way older than you? Or of course they bring up in this book too, like what if you get matched with somebody who doesn't live in the same country as you? Those are things you think about naturally. Or what if it's someone of the gender you're not attracted to? But there are some things that it was like, oh, never thought about that. Like what if you got matched up with a serial killer? What if you got matched up with, of course, like, Again, like with the serial killer thing, somebody who's crazy. What if you are happily in a relationship and you decide to take the test just to see if, you know, you two are matched and you find out you're not? What would you do then? There are just so many good questions in this book that get answered. Each chapter is short and it always leaves you on a cliffhanger. So I just could not put this book down. It was like whenever I had to stop reading, I was mad. Like, oh, I gotta work. Oh, I gotta go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta cook dinner. There is romance in the book because of course it's dealing with couples. I guess it could get a little bit sappy, but it was not too much for me and I am not here for romance, so it was not too much for me. It does deal with some little bit of dark subject matter, I will say. You know, there's a storyline that is not for the faint of heart, but it didn't really get too bad because I am not here for a lot of that stuff when it comes to some trigger warnings. So this one was not too bad for me, but you could just go look online and look for trigger warnings just in case, you know, might be something in here you don't wanna read. I don't wanna say, I don't wanna give any spoilers, but yeah, I was invested in every person's story. And then like when he would leave off on a cliffhanger, you had to go read somebody else's story and wait till you got back to that person's story. And it'd be like, oh my. And sometimes I would flip ahead to see like how far I had to go to get back to that person's story. It was, I mean, but I was here for everybody. There was one story that I was like, okay, she's kind of boring. I don't really care about her story. But then <laughs> there is a twist to her story. And I was like, oh, now I get it. Now I see why we were following her and now I'm here for it. And then I couldn't wait to get back to her chapters. And then there was another storyline that started off like juicy. It was probably the one I thought was the best at first. And then it got kind of like, eh. And that storyline, I was just kind of like, all right, let's get back to the other people. You're fine, but whatever. I want to get back to the other people because that one was just kind of more like this person becoming a better person or whatever. And I just didn't really care enough about that one. It was just like, okay, that's cute. Let's get back to the other ones. They got more drama and more juice. But again, by the end, when you get to everybody's finales, I cared about everybody and I could not put it down. I've said that enough. In case you don't know already, 
I gave this book four and a half stars, rounding it up to five. Only reason it's not a five is because, like I said, there was the one story that kind of like lulled for me in the middle of the book. And the ending is one that, to me, there should be a sequel, but <laughs> it's not. So it's one of me, it's fine. I just wish it was wrapped up a little bit better. It's one of those ones, leave you to finish it how you want to finish it. You know, kind of not a cliffhanger, but like I said, leaves you to finish it how you want to finish it. So other than those two things, this was just, it was everything for me. And it's been hard to follow this up with something else. I have been just putting, picking books up, and putting them down because I just can't get past this one. <laughs> I did attempt to, well, I didn't try to watch the Netflix show. I watched the trailer and I was like, uh-uh, no. And on Netflix, you know, you can see the preview of each episode, like you can read what they're about. And I was just like, what did they do to this book? No, thank you. We're not doing that. I'm not ruining this book for myself. So we're gonna leave it at the book. You can feel free in the comments to let me know what you think of the show though. Cause I mean, I'm curious, but I really highly doubt that I'll watch it. So that wraps up my review of The One by John Mars. I'm pretty sure after this, I'm gonna read The Passengers because I just am like, I'm following him on Goodreads now. I'm just here for him and his writing and everything. So look to see this in my top, whatever list of 2021 cause yeah, so that wraps this up. Let me know in the comments if you've read this book, how you feel about it, or if you've read one of his other books that you recommend. I know there's another one that I just heard someone talk about or I've seen it out there, but then I saw some trigger warnings. I wasn't sure. I'll put it up here on the screen because I can't remember the name of it right now, but The Passengers is definitely next on my list. Yeah, and again, let me know if you have something to say about the Netflix show, and uh, that's it. So until my next video, snuggle up in your hideaway with a good book, <laughs> unplug as much as possible, be kind to all kind, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.